Okay, so in the last lecture, I introduced angular position, angular velocity, and angular acceleration. Now, whenever you're introduced to new physical quantities, you should be thinking about, okay, are these vectors or scalars? So let's investigate that question. Are phi, omega, and alpha vectors or scalars? So um, let's do a couple of tests to find out. So um, do they have a direction? Okay, well, let's take an object that um, is fairly easy to rotate some different ways. Um, I'm going to imagine a book. Okay, so if I have a book like this, and maybe I'll give it some thickness like that. Um, if I rotate it around an axis like this, well, after I do that, it's going to look different. So I'll be looking kind of at the spine like this, and maybe um, it says book like that. Um, and then to give it some thickness again, it kind of looks like this. Okay, well, meanwhile, I could have the same original orientation like this. But let's say that I rotated it um, around the center, so kind of like this. So if I do that rotation, then afterwards it's going to look like this. Okay, and indeed, those two rotations look different. Okay, so does it have, um, this uh, rotation have a direction? Yes. That is definitely true. Um, if we rotate a book in different ways, we need to give a direction in order to explain how we rotated it. But um, that might not be enough to consider it a vector. So let me show you something that is not what you would expect for a vector. Okay, so let's say that we do these two rotations. So I rotate like this, and then I do a rotation like the second one that I did. Okay, so if I do those two rotations, what if I then do the same rotations on the original configuration, but in the opposite order? Okay, so instead of um, doing the um, first one first, I do the second one first instead. Okay, so we'll see whether we get the same answer doing the same rotations, but in an opposite order. Okay, so what I want to do then is I want to take this situation and rotate it like this. And I'm going to want to take this situation and rotate it like that. Okay, so um, I'm doing the opposite ones as I did the first time. So if I do that, then what I'm going to end up with for this top case is the spine of the book will be facing us like this. Like that. Um, and if I give it a little bit of thickness, it's going to look kind of like that. Okay, and then for this one, we're going to be looking at the top of the book, kind of like this. Okay, so um, here we have a totally different orientation for the book, um, depending on which order we do this. So what we find is that doing A plus B does not equal doing B plus A. So in fact, this is not a vector, and it's not a scalar. So rotations are pretty weird. They are a different kind of quantity than either of those. And so we're kind of stuck. Um, we can't treat um, angular positions as vectors or scalars. We don't really know how to handle them. But there's something that um, comes to save the day. So um, it is possible to notice, and I'm not going to prove this, that um, if we do really small rotations, which I'll call d phi, so d to indicate that it's an infinitesimally small one, um, those are vectors. So um, if I do um, one of these um, rotations that I just did above, but I do, I do them really small, instead of going 90 degrees, I just do a tiny rotation. Well, it's going to look kind of like this in both of those cases. Um, you can check for yourself um, with a real book in front of you that if you do the two rotations, um, it's going to look about the same if you do two tiny rotations, but it looks dramatically different if you do big rotations. So that's really nice. Um, if d phi is a vector, I'll put a vector symbol over it, then we can have omega vector is d phi vector by dt and alpha vector is d omega vector by dt. Okay, so um, we don't have to be careful about um, vectors for um, the velocities and accelerations. Those are definitely vectors. The angular position vectors are not, but um, that won't end up hurting us too much. We'll focus on omega and alpha, and then the, the phi's won't really be a big deal.